In this session, we will learn about the difference between one hot encoding and dummy encoding. Well, I personally like to use dummy encoding, but in case if you want to use one hit hot encoding, you can use it. Uh, I have already created a session. Please, you can get the link from my description section. In this session, we will learn the difference about one hot encoding versus dummy encoding. And uh, this is a three video session where one uh, video is dedicated for each of the three topics which is mentioned above, like which is mentioned here. Like one hot, first one is for one hot encoding versus dummy encoding. Coding, second one is for dummy variable trap and the third one is the technique to count a dummy encoding when the number of categories in a categorical feature is very large which means are limiting the number of columns or rather reducing the dimensions of our data set. Let's start. Also please note you can contact me at technologycult at gmail.com and the link for my github account is uh, github.com slash technology cult. So now what is one hot encoding and what, what is dummy encoding? Now one hot encoding and dummy encoding are different ways of encoding the categorical data. Like we have a column which contains uh, categorical features like India, US, Germany, Russia, uh, South Africa. So what we want to do, we want to convert them into a number. So converting the categorical column into a number is again what is covered in the label encoding. Now after this, when we do this, we don't want to give the uh, weightage to each and every number that's why we apply dummy in uh, uh, one hot encoding or dummy encoding if you have a categorical variable that has k different categories then one hot encoding will convert into k variables means if we have three features three unique features in our uh, column it will be converted into three different columns so once we convert that we will have three different columns whereas in case of dummy encoding it will be three minus one like I have mentioned here, like uh, whereas dummy encoding will convert into k minus one, it means we have three categories in a unique categories in a column. Then it will be three minus one, which will be two columns. And why we need to do it? I will be showing that in my second video of this series, which is basically I'll show the mathematical reasoning of why we do in order to avoid the singular matrix. This is just a hint what it will be covered. There. So let's start and I will like uh, show how to implement one hot encoding and dummy encoding and the different options of the function pandas function get dummy. Here we come. So what we'll do as usual what in, a, in most of my videos what I do will import pandas. I have a data set. We'll read that data set and after that we'll execute this. So I have a data set. Uh, this index is of now uh, this ID column is of no use. So we'll simply drop this ID column. So this will be df dot drop. For dropping, we have to give access is equal to one and in place is equal to drop. Not so. If you see now that column is no more there, we have only weekdays and the gender. How do we apply? How to implement the one hot encoding? It will be very simple. We create df underscore one underscore hot. We'll use the get dummies function and then I will simply pass df. What is my column name? You can get it here. Weekday and gender are my two columns. We'll execute this. Uh, if you open this, what I have mentioned in my presentation is one hot encoding. If you have a categorical uh, variable that has k different categories, then one hot encoding will convert into k variable. We have seven different seven days of week between seven uh, different categories, and that is converted into seven columns. So if you see that seven into seven, this is seven columns from Friday. Now this is taking Friday is coming first because it is converting this based on the alphabetical letter so that is done now what if how do we want to implement the dummy encoding so df underscore dummy underscore encoding which is equal to pd dot get dummy what we'll do we give df v underscore day and then in case of drum uh, dummy encoding you can see all the parameters that we can use here you can see the drop first is equal to false let's use drop first is equal to because we want to drop that's why that is the major difference between one hot encoding and dummy encoding so we'll execute this and now you see the number of columns here is six one column is dropped the very first drop first is was true that's why friday was dropped off from monday till monday tuesday Wednesday, thursday friday saturday and everything is there except friday okay so till here we are fine now what we'll do if i don't want to drop the friday like you will say that why should i uh, drop friday i want to delete any other column so in that case how we'll achieve this will be df underscore dummy selection which is what i will do df so we have one hot encoding is already there now if we want to like uh, apply this dummy encoding we'll take this column okay dot drop which column you suppose i want to drop sunday so now if i go here friday monday saturday thursday tuesday wednesday sunday is not there because this is based on my selection this is not based on the not based on the panda selection fourth thing is if you want to prefix the column like when you when you do the dummy encoding 
you can see monday saturday sunday so i am not sure like there are more than one categories then in that case how will you segregate so this is to i will show you how we will prefix the column so in that case what we'll do we'll create df underscore dummy underscore variable so we'll add a prefix to each column so now you see each name is being prefixed by a day underscore from first to last now if you want to apply this dummy code uh, encoding on more than one column how we how do we achieve that that is very simple df underscore and then like you need to pass because there are more than two columns so we'll have to provide these two brackets two uh, square brackets and this will be to do this so now this call so you can have weekday so it is automatically like it is giving you the selection like it is prefixing first of all what it has done is this has converted into one two three four five six seven column for the week weekday and two column for the gender male and female and this prefix is coming automatic now what we will do next next is if you want to apply uh, get dummies on multiple columns and have a different prefix based on the column name okay so i don't want the prefix which is assigned by the pandas i want to assign it myself then how i will achieve that comma prefix is equals to i don't want that weekday i just want day underscore and here i want capital g gen underscore so if you go here and different so you can say day underscore friday is done and here gender female and gender male is done and moreover what it is doing if you see the friday the day on the the value of where i have friday it will be one for the monday it will be one on the first column on the first row now if you want to apply get dummies on multiple column and drop one column from each category Control Enter. It will be executed. So now you see we have for week we will have seven columns and for gender we have two columns. From each categories one column will be deleted and we will have total seven columns. We'll be left with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For weeks Friday is not there and for the gender female. So this is how we will uh, we can see the difference between the one hot encoding and the diff and uh, dummy encoding followed by the several uh, several options of dummy encoding. Which will be helpful in our exercises when we are uh, implementing a machine learning algorithm or even in the uh, deep learning. So it is applicable everywhere. So thanks a lot, and please note the next session is based on the dummy variable track, where I'll be uh, minutely showing the examples of uh, how we will use the uh, uh, how we can show if the matrix is not is a singular matrix, then we cannot proceed forward and cannot calculate the coefficient of that matrix. Thanks a lot for watching the session. And uh, if you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.